I'm Herbert Ross, and this is John Storage, and we are with Rochester Gages and located at the Dallas, Texas facility. Today, uh, John is going to assemble an adjustable gauge, as, which is to be used as a replacement uh, for a liquid level gauge and the underground propane tank. This gauge will be installed in a 30 inch diameter tank, so we'll take half the diameter of that tank, which is 15 inches, and add the height of the riser, which is 9 and 3 8 inches. That gives us a total of 24 and 3 8 inches. Or, if you're doing a direct replacement, you can use your old gauge as a guideline. For assembly of the gauge, you will only need a few basic hand tools. A tape measure, a marker, a pair of diagonal cutters, and a Phillips head screwdriver. You will find that your gauge kit includes a head support assembly, a float arm assembly, and a hardware kit that contains a brass bearing and Phillips head screw. I'll begin by setting the length of the head support assembly to 24 and 3 8 inches. That dimension is taken from the bottom flange of the head to the center of the hole in the gear housing. Once the dimension is established, place a mark at the end of the gear housing. Then retract the gear housing assembly and place a second mark three quarters to seven eighths of an inch away closer to the gauge head. This is the point at which the center shaft will be cut. Using your diagonal cutters, cut and discard the unused portion of the center shaft. Now return the gauge to 24 and 3 8 inches and tighten the locking nut. Before installing the float arm assembly, make sure that the Rochester logo is facing up as well as the two white marks on the gear in the gear housing. You'll also notice that there is a black mark on the center tooth of the gear on the float arm assembly. When installed, that black mark should be in between the two white marks on the mating gear. While holding this in place, turn the gauge upside down and install the brass bearing. And finally, install the Phillips head screw. Your gauge is now assembled, but we will make a final check to make sure that the gauge is reading properly. With the float arm assembly perpendicular to the head support assembly, the gauge should read 50. What you just witnessed is the assembly of an adjustable gauge design that provides a quick and easy way to obtain an individual gauge replacement without incurring the relatively high cost replacement and extended factory lead time. In addition, uh, this replacement gauge series R3G49S are manufactured to our latest quality standards and provide improved gauging performance in both accuracy, resolution, and hysteresis. These gauge assemblies can be provided by your local stocking distributor. Give them a call. Thank you.